Hi guys, today I'm going to take you into the kitchen and show you how to prepare rice and peas step by step Jamaican style. And I want you to like, share and subscribe to my video guys and don't forget to ring the notification bell. Let's go guys. I'm getting ready to prepare the rice and peas the real Jamaican style rice and peas so here I have my seasoning my skillet and thyme and pepper my salt and this is my this is some noodle chicken just to give the rice some flavor chicken, chicken noodle flavor and my butter my stick of butter my garlic and I have some ginger over here some I mashed the ginger and this is my peas, my red kidney beans and then my coconut milk and this is my rice. I have three cups of rice here guys and on the stove I have six cups of water and I'm getting everything prepared right now. So what I'm going to do now is to add all the ingredients in and I'll show you guys. Now my water has come to a boil. So what I want to do now is to go ahead and open up the kidney beans. This is it guys. Then I'm gonna go ahead and open the coconut milk. I'm gonna put the coconut milk in first. But it doesn't really matter if you put the bean or the coconut milk, so. There you go, guys. And throw the coconut milk in. Then I'm gonna put the kidney bean in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the remaining seasoning in. I'm gonna put my salt. And this is my thyme. I'm gonna put my ginger. I'm gonna put my Maggie seasoning in it to give it some real nice flavor. And then I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and add my butter. Then I'm going to put my garlic in. And I'm going to I'm gonna put my scale in. Now, normally I just rub the scale in like this. Just, uh, just rub it like that and just drop it in the pot. And then I'm gonna put my pepper, my scotch bonnet pepper. But you don't wanna cut this pepper. You wanna make the pepper whole. It's just enough to give the food some flavor. You don't want your rice and peas to be hot unless you rather it like that. 
So guys, I'm going to be covering up this pot and leave it to cook for a while before I put my rice in. So yes guys, this is all the seasoning and everything. So all I'm waiting on now is to allow this to cook for at least eight to 10 minutes. Then I'll come back and add my rice to it guys. Yes, guys, look at that. No, the smell is so, the smell is so awesome. There's this flavor and the seasoning that I put in it. it smells so good, guys. When I'm finished with this rice and peas, you can actually eat this rice and peas without eating any meat kind with it, guys especially for those who are vegetarians. So now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put the rice, add the rice to it now, guys. Wow. Sometimes you can't really make some mess, but you just have to clean up behind yourself. Okay. We're gonna leave that and let it cook. And I'll come back and show you my finish. I'm gonna leave that and let it cook for a while guys and then I'll come back and show you before it's completed I'll just show you what it looks like well this is partially cooked so what you're going to do now guys is to turn the stove down i'm going to go ahead and turn it all the way down and then i'm going to just cover it with this foil paper and i'm going to just to trap the heat inside of it so that the rice come out very shelly Want to make sure that all the edges are covered. And yes, guys. Then I'm going to come back and show you my end result, okay? No, guys. The rice is ready. Wow, look at that, guys. Look at how shelly the rice is. Look at that. Look at all that. delicious all right guys so this is 
what it looks like. Pickle this extra ginger. Guys, if you feel you have learned anything from watching this video by learning how to cook Jamaican rice and peas from start to finish, don't be afraid to subscribe, like and share to my channel and don't forget to ring the notification bell so that you can be informed of more videos to come. Bye guys.